Hello my loves, welcome back to my sketchbook and welcome back to my channel for the first time this year. I hope you all had a fantastic end to 2019 and are ready to give this year everything you've got. I know for me this year I'm going to make it a real priority to create more and not so much work less because your girl is saving for a deposit on a house but make more of my work about creating and one way I'm fitting creativity into my day to day is through journaling more especially when I don't know what to draw or I just want to document something or be more adventurous with collage or lettering it really is a practice that allows a lot of creative freedom for me. Now, before we get too deep into this particular spread, I just want to thank Stationery Pal for sending over a lot of the supplies that I'm using today. I had actually been looking at Stationery Pal for a while. I do spend a lot of time window shopping for stationery and cute stickers and things. So when they reached out to me, I was beyond thrilled. It was like a dream come true. So here's a quick unboxing of all the goodies they so kindly gifted. Okay, so let's see what we've got in here. So it's in the really cute bubble wrap that's actually heart shaped. I'll have to reuse that somehow. And a lovely little note from them. Now, I picked out uh, a lot of the stuff in here, but I can see that there is some stuff that they've put in there as extras as well, stuff that I didn't pick out. So first there are these black post-it notes. Those are really cool. Those will be quite handy in journal spreads, I think. And then there are all these stickers. Um, I didn't pick these out, but these are really cute. And these pink post-it notes as well, that I always love post-its for journal spreads just to stick in, give the page a little depth and dimension and colour. Now get into the stuff that I did pick out. First there are these really cute like homeware stickers. Um, I just really like the style of these. Got some thin washies in really nice kind of muted colours to go with a few more washies that I've picked out as well in these nudie colours with this nice like minimal checkered design. These look like extras as well, so these like bumblebee tapes and some kind of pen. I wonder if the ink in this is yellow, let's see. Yes, very cool, it's like a nice mustardy yellow that is going to be really cool for making notes. These clips are also all extra. Those will definitely come in handy. You always see me pinning my sketchbook open when it starts to get really full. One thing that I like about the site is that they offer supplies like this. This is a proper mechanical pencil. I have one like this already, but I thought it'd be good to have another one. Um, they rotate, it rotates the lead, so it never um, goes dull, which I love in a mechanical pencil. Um, I would really recommend this pencil, actually. This is the name of it. Then I got some stamping stuff. I'm really looking forward to doing some stamping. I just love the look of that in a journal or a sketchbook. I think it can really add, I don't know, a really cool, almost vintagey look. And I got loads of these kinds of tabs and stickers because I think these work great just to, again, add some color and just, you know, make a heading on a page or whatever else you might use it for. They're just really handy. And I love all these really nice pastel-y, um, nudie type colors. More post-its, just dotted ones. I thought that'd be nice. Like if I want to add a little bit of text on the page, it'd be cool to stick that on somewhere. This is cool. Um, I wasn't expecting this. It's like a whole pouch thing to hold all of the supplies. That's great. I think that'd be a great thing to put all my journaling stuff in so I can either take it on the go or just have it to hand whenever I need it. I have wanted some mild liners for so long and I finally found the colours that really just spoke to me. So I'm really looking forward to trying these. Everyone seems to have these. so I'm so glad that I finally have some. And these are probably my favourite thing, which is why you can see I've got so many of them. Look at these washi tapes, they are so pretty, especially these super thin ones. I just think those could add such a nice touch to any page. These look so special, especially with the gold um, and just like a nice Japanesey feel to them. I adore these, I love these, I cannot wait to use them. And I've got even more here. Um, they're, they're all different designs, all the ones that I've just shown you, so there's really quite a range of them. I'm so, so happy to have these, cannot wait to use them. And finally, I can't remember if I picked this out or not. Oh, it's got a really nice, it's got a really nice feel to it on the outside as well, quite luxurious. Oh wow, look at that. that I'm very surprised at the quality of this stuff. Um, yeah, it's really cool black paper notebook slash sketchbook with this cool like earth design on the front. So yeah, other than this thing, don't know what that is. <laughs> Thank you so much, Stationery Pal. And let's get back to the journal spread. 
Now then, for today's spread, I wanted to create a bit of a mood board of the vibe that I want for this month. I've been really lacking in time outside in nature, so despite the cold, that is something I really want to squeeze into my schedule and really make time for over other things. I was also inspired by these cosy home-related stickers to think more about creating a calm and relaxing environment indoors, spending less time on distractions for the sake of distractions, grabbing my phone because my mind needs constant stimulation, and more time just being present and just sitting in a comfy corner by a window and enjoying the sun streaming in or having a coffee just having a coffee just enjoying the taste and the moment my mum actually got me one of these mocha coffee pots for Christmas so I'm looking forward to making a good cup of coffee the type that you really savour I think a lot of the new year goal hustle culture is about keeping busy and cramming as much into your day as you can and constantly pushing and I definitely have some big ambitions this year, things that will take work and dedication and time and commitment and I'm sure there will be late nights and burnout but I don't want that to be the whole picture and I certainly don't want that to be something that I'm striving for, working so hard that it breaks me. I want the base level of my day to day existence to be a balanced one, a mindful one. I want to take care of myself, I want to be aware of the people around me, the world around me, I want to feel like I've got this. And this journal page is here to remind me of that. Maybe this will be something that I do at the start of every month or every quarter, just to get clear on the things that are actually important amongst all the noise. You guys shared a lot of exciting goals with me in my last video, it sounds like we're really going to flourish this year and it's so exciting to see so many of you doing whatever it is that you can to take steps forward and to dream. And this time I would love to know not so much what you want to do or what you want to achieve but more how you'd like to feel this year. Like I said, I want to feel like I've got this, I want to be able to take a deep breath at the start or end of each day, look around and feel content, empowered and in control. So what about you guys? Let me know down below, but for now, I think that's where we'll leave it. Thank you so much for joining me today. Looking forward to another year of growth and exploration, but before that, I will see you in the next video.